One of the blessings that we have is to actually read portions of the scripture in locations nearby or actually at the site where they happen. In Acts 17, we find the name Berea. We're, we're in the city of Berea right now, Varia here in Greece. And it says in verse 10, the brethren immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea. Now it's 45 miles that he went from Thessalonica to here in Berea. And so they got him out of town and when they arrived, they went into the synagogue of the Jews. Now this synagogue was established in 1850, but as we'll see at another site, there are parts of the ancient synagogue, the first century synagogue, but somewhere, this is still the Jewish quarter. So somewhere in this area, there was a synagogue of the Jews. That's what verse 10 says. These were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. Now that 11th verse is the most famous verse about Berea. Uh, even to this day, a Berean Christian is someone that actually studies the Bible for themselves. And that's kind of a moniker that's stuck because of the attitude of the people from right here in this area. And they, many of them believed and also not a few of the Greeks and prominent women as well as men. But listen to verse 13. But when the Jews from Thessalonica learned that the word of God was preached by Paul at Berea, they came there and stirred up the crowds. Now that's, if you're counting, going through the book of Acts, that's the 29th time that a group has come to fight against the gospel being preached. And so they stirred up the crowds, verse 13, and immediately the brethren sent Paul away to go to the sea. But, but both Silas and Timothy remained there. So again, they had to get Paul out. He had already been so uh, viciously beaten in Philippi. He had barely recovered from that walking 97 miles to get to Thessalonica. And again, the same group, the, the crowds ran him out of Thessalonica. So he walked 45 more miles and got here and it happened again. But Paul kind of like the unstoppable kept going and they took him to the coast and when we study at Sunion, you're going to see where he sailed down around Cape Sunion and went into Athens. And you remember all those from our lessons, how he went up through into Athens and began teaching there at Mars Hill. So we're on the second missionary journey, Acts 17, the first 10 verses about the Thessalonica ministry, then from verse 10 onward, about right here in Berea, when they received the word of God with eagerness. One quick question for you. Do you have a ready mind? Do you seek out the word of God? Do you eagerly study the Bible? Or is it kind of like, do I have to read it? It's hard to read it. See, the Bereans characterize what Christ wants from us. He wants us to hunger and thirst. Remember what Jesus said in Matthew 4, that we shouldn't live by bread alone, but by what? every word of God that proceeds from the mouth of God. So hunger for the scripture is what the Bereans exhibited. Hunger for the scripture is what we should exhibit. That's our lesson here in Berea today at the ancient synagogue site. <music>